It's the 21st century. Ecology and sustainability are central topics for all people in the world. Everyone is trying to find a solution for the protection of the environment and the restoration of its destroyed parts. Construction is one of the world's most environmentally destructive forces, accounting for nearly 40% of global emissions. And the industry's favorite material, concrete, is perhaps its least sustainable. Concrete production causes up to 8% of global emissions. It also consumes a lot of sand, a disappearing resource, gobbling up 40 to 50 billion tons of it each year. Reducing reliance on concrete would represent a major climate action victory, but the challenges are formidable. Over the last 30 years, global production of concrete has quadrupled. It's the substrate on which the world's urbanization boom is being built. China alone pours more concrete every two years than the United States used in the entire 20th century. Therefore, it seems that the era of wood is returning. Until about your grandparents' childhood, or maybe your great-grandparents, the world was made of wood. Everything from weapons and wheels, barrels and houses, tools for cooking and industry was at least in part derived from materials taken from the bodies of trees. Now a growing industry wants to bring back the golden age of wood, starting with skyscrapers. Do you think it's impossible to build a wooden skyscraper? You might be wrong, and now you'll see why. First, take a few seconds of your time and subscribe to our channel. It won't take long and it means a lot to us. If you've done this, we can continue. The number of multi-story mass timber buildings being built in the U.S. rose 50% between July 2020 and December 2021 to more than 1,300 structures, according to the wood trade group Woodworks. Among the projects is an eight-story office building in Charlottesville, Virginia, a new Google five-story office building scheduled to open in August in Sunnyvale, California, and a 25-story residential retail complex rising in Milwaukee. In addition to potential environmental benefits, construction experts say mass timber buildings can cost less than concrete and steel, especially if they're sited near a manufacturing plant where pieces of the building are cut to order. With mass timber, for example, builders don't have to pour concrete and wait for it to set. It can save a year in construction and labor costs as the wood panels and beams were made at a nearby plant. So let's go from America to Europe now. Wooden skyscrapers are being built there and records are being set. Where exactly? In Brumendal, a small municipality in Norway. Since 2019, this place owned Mjostarnet, the tallest all-timber wood building in the world. Mjostarnet, the name means Tower of Mjosa, stands at 85.4 meters and consists of 18 floors and a 72-room hotel that has become a destination for visitors curious about the future of sustainable architecture and novel achievements in structural engineering. It's the third tallest tower in Norway, a country whose buildings rarely extend above 10 stories. However, Norway is not the only country in Europe that has wooden skyscrapers. Switzerland also builds such buildings and is currently building one in a town called Winterthur, called the Rocken and Tigeli Building. The record-breaking skyscraper will be a huge 100 meters high, which means it'll beat the current tallest timber tower, Norway's Mjostarnet Tower, by a whopping 14.6 meters. The central structure of the rocket and Tigeli building will be made of timber, but to fit in with the surrounding buildings, it'll be covered in red and yellow terracotta bricks. It also won't just comprise a single tower. The building will form part of an entire timber neighborhood. The designs include four buildings with a leafy central plaza and a mixture of housing and retail space, including a restaurant, hotel, and sky bar. It will be done in 2026. However, as with anything new, people have a lot of questions. One of the most frequent questions is about building safety and fire resistance. Timber burns, but the good thing is, is that we know how it burns. You can imagine a big log that you put on the fire in the woods when you're out camping. The small branches that you put around this big log will burn down completely overnight, but the big log will still be there in the morning because there's nothing around it to keep it burning. Similarly, a timber building will remain standing after a fire has gone out by itself. The charring of wood creates an insulating layer that protects the inner part of the timber. The charging speed is predictable. Large cross-sections of glue laminated timber will have a considerable cross-section of undamaged wood after a fire has ended and this remaining cross-section can carry the load. So yes, wooden skyscrapers are safe. Since more and more buildings like this will be built in the future, 
All you have to do is find one for yourself, buy an apartment, and enjoy the smell of pine or oak while sitting by the window and reading a book. That's it for today. Please share your opinion with us in the comments section below. Don't forget to press the bell so you don't miss more videos like this. If you like this video, please share it. We hope you enjoyed today's video. Thanks for watching and see you again soon.